today, I got my brother with me. <laughs> ha! Whatever. And we finna do this mukbang. Um, he probably like high as a kite. You already know your girl. We don't do that. Oh, so if you guys, this is my crochet's kitchen shirt. I kind of just threw it on because I ain't nothing to put on. But um, make sure y'all following me. Make sure y'all follow me. Period. If you're not following me, you don't love me. Period. It's a little hot in here, so let's let's get started. You guys, we have Chick Fil A. If you don't eat your Chick Fil A with honey mustard and Polynesian, what is you doing? I got my fries, y'all. I got this spicy chicken. Hold on. Got, got some nuggets, dog. And you know Chick Fil A got them new chicken tenders. I got me some chicken tenders. Oh yeah, we grubbing up in here. And I got me some nuggets, you know, for old time's sake. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. Let's get into it. You didn't even pull your stuff out the bag. Wait a minute. I, I, damn, can I get uh, What are you, a child? Yes. So at this point, I'm finna just start smacking. Hold on. First, let me open my sauces, because mm -hmm. that's what we not gonna do. That's what we not gonna do. Y'all, okay, so my brother here, bro, this is like the corniest nigga I've ever met in my life. Um, he is the corniest nigga alive. I am not. Alright. I'm just pretty. Don't be lying to the family. Look, look, look. Look, fam. I'm, I'm, I'm weird. And I'm okay with being weird. Different is okay. You know what I'm saying? Be different. I ain't gonna lie. If you walk in the same path as everybody else, what can you actually say you've done with your life? Besides follow the leader. And we don't follow the leader over here. We lead. That's right. Period. Period. I'm okay I, with being with my weird nigga shenanigans. Matter of fact, one of the stories I'm going to tell today is about my weird nigga shenanigans. All I know is if you, you instead of working for the man, be the man and go get your own. That, that's my motto. I'm living it. Period. But okay, we finna. So, y'all. Yeah. Question mark. I have to line my sauces up just like this. I got the honey mustard, the Polynesian. Bro, they are so good. You just gotta dip them on together, like. See, why y'all like mustard? I, I, I've never been a But I really don't like honey mustard. But Chick fil A honey mustard? Bomb. I got me some good, refreshing Chick fil A lemonade. <laughs> Man, you should get some plug, some some advertising money or something for plugging them so much down. Ooh. I mean, if y'all want to do me a favor, y'all can follow the uh, immaculate one at uh, Instagram. Yeah, I have a. It'll be in the, It'll be in the description below as well, cause nobody know how to spell. He spelled immaculate wrong on his page. Oh. Come on now, don't do me like that. I'm just playing. I'm never did you did. First grade spell be chap, baby. Got my spicy chicken sandwich with my American cheese. Unfortunately, us Americans love everything American. Why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Gotta put that honey mustard on there first. Hold on, wait, cause I, on the last mukbang, I made a mess. I ain't got time for no drippage. Um, then you gotta put the Polynesian on top. Yeah. Ooh. And I'm, and I'm the child. And I'm the child. Ooh. Then you gotta put a French fry on there. Ooh, two French fries, cause I really don't like that fries too much unless you're eating it on that sandwich. And then you smash that mug. Mm, mm, mm. Such a big ass kid. Now we're gonna take this bite. Hold on. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. You ain't put it in your mouth yet. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, that's what she said. Oh, that's what she said. I had to think about it. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's everything I ever wanted. That's a Chick-fil-A right there. Merry Christmas to Crochet. Tastes so good, you might go and slap your mom. Oh, God, that's not me. I'm not your mama. <laughs> me and Ed, we've been friends for what? Oh, shit. 
Damn. I swear about Almost that. 10 years? Yeah, just about. I met him in 2010. So it's been nine years. Yeah. I had, we was bad kids. We went to this school called Leaders Academy. It was in Horn Clark. Horn Clark, Texas, period. That ham and cheese, you know right. what it be? Yeah, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> my mom and daddy from Horn Clark, so I had to rep it one time, you know. So my sophomore year, I went to Leaders Academy, and I did 11 and 10th grade in the same year and got my right grade. And then I graduated from Milk. Um, I met him. He was one of the dummies I met. Um, which is crazy because you wanna know who else went to Lee's Academy? Fred on. Fred on. I ain't gonna lie, that's my nigga though. Shout out to Fred, Fred Burger. That's what he called me. But that nigga be, you know, flicking wrists now. Look at the flicking of that wrist. Yeah. Okay, anyways. So, we all went to Lee's or whatever, and it was cool or whatever. Me and AJ really wasn't that cool in the beginning. He was, I thought he was weird. He didn't talk. Like, he was anti-sociable and stuff. Anybody got time for that? And then, bro, the one time I think me and him became cool. This <laughs> ah! This man dyed his hair red. And he came to school with it. And they told him that he couldn't have red hair. So he had to shave his head bald. <laughs> See, why you going around telling lies like that? This nigga had to shave his head bald, and he went bald, and I think I roasted him all day. Everybody was roasting him, but I think that's when me and really like became real cool, because I roasted them out of him. Now, see, there, there, there's some lies in that story now. I was not the antisocial one. You were. As I recall, I was the one who introduced myself to you, and you was like, who are you? <laughs> because, no, 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 no. I was new to the school, okay? All the rest of them dummies had been there. But my thing is, I wasn't antisocial. I just didn't know nobody. I was having a conversation with somebody, and this nigga just budded in my conversation. He just hop skipped right in the middle of it. Like, yeah, I remember that. Ha ha ha. And I'm looking like, who are you? He was like, oh, I'm AJ. Damn right. Who the hell is AJ? My nigga, I didn't ask to be your friend. You don't have to ask to be my friend. I automatically am everybody's friend. I'm just that type of person. Let's try this chicken strip. That shit looks like Hold on, three of these mugs put together. You gotta put put it in the, the honey mustard first. From swivel, swivel. Coat that mug. Okay, I'm about to make a list. And then you gotta back it in. Or back it in. Back it up with the Polynesian, okay? Let me see. So, say, so what, what would you say has mm. been the secret to our friendship for this long? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? What would, you, <laughs> what would you say has been the secret to our friendship for this long? These nuggets. Oh, um, um, I think he's funny. Like, he does a lot of hilarious stuff that makes me laugh, so I feel like that's the one reason we stayed friends so long. Real stuff. And, like, every time I try to leave, he is just, he pulling me back, me back. Girl, <laughs> get the hell out of here. But nah, really? You just you just cool people. You know, whatever. His life is hilarious. This man set himself on fire one time. Because Deja convinced him to set himself on fire. This nigga poured alcohol on his arm. Lit it. Tried to blow it out and it didn't go out. So he started panicking. <laughs> Ran into my garage door. Everything. Mama came outside yelling. Mm -hmm. I will not ever turn down a challenge. I am nothing of no one to run away from any type of challenge whatsoever. So that 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 day to me was just another challenge, and and, and I and I conquered it, sorta, of, kinda, of, in a way. 
somewhat. Hell no. Nah. After that, that nigga was at Jack and about yelling at us because we kept forgetting him a cup of ice. That nigga arm was on fire the next day. I went to go see him. This man, she was so blistered. Well, I never said I couldn't bitch about him afterwards. Mm. <laughs> mm, it's dripping. Drip? Mm-mm. I don't like some dripping down my face like that. No. I'm pretty sure you're used to it. It's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the port? Okay. So, check this out, guys. Me, my cousin, and my brother, we're all like on our phones. You know, at night, we're in our bed, and we're just, you know, just trying to find something on uh, POF or whatever. Prostitutes? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. That no. was prostitute shopping. Yeah, it wasn't prostitute shopping. We was looking for somebody to hang out and, you know, show us a good time. All three of y'all? Y'all, they were looking for a prostitute. Listen, listen. Oh, my God! Y'all on POF looking for prostitutes. Prostitutes is such a loose name. You know... <laughs> Let's call them streetwalkers. Oh okay, my God. so <laughs> basically, we was like, you know, us being, you know, horm hormonal men, we was very, very, like, you know, on some shit. We was trying to, you know, just get some ass on some shit. And so, it's about to go down <laughs> with the rest of this. We end up finding somebody, and her name, I don't remember. But she had a pretty good looking picture and a pretty looking good profile. So, I mean, everything matched up. The problem was she was all the way in LaPorte, Texas. So, we wake up our brother. He wakes up. He We drive all the way out there. Well, how far is LaPorte from, from where we are? About maybe a two hour drive. Y'all niggas drove two hours for a prostitute? Wait, I think it's more than that. Um, <laughs> hold on. You continue your story. I'm about to look this okay. up. Okay, so we drove out there, and so uh, basically we get up to the neighborhood. Uh, Once we get to the ooh. neighborhood, she tells us to, like, pull up by the house, but don't come come by yet. And the she point tells is us only an hour away, stupid. Oh, see? Well, okay. But y'all well, drove an hour for a prostitute? Okay. Benson is closer than that. They could have just been walked the stroll. And like, I want you. Anyway. Well, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry to interrupt. Another question. Was y'all paying her? No, we weren't paying her. It was so, free. She was saying she was all going, she was going to suck all our dicks. I mean, shit. You drove an hour away to get some head? Okay, so we sitting out our, uh, outside of our house for about 45 minutes now. And daylight almost starts to come, right? But it's still a little dark outside. Uh, so she tells us to come through the back fence. And at this point, we're all thinking, we're like, oh, shit. Maybe this is a setup. <laughs> like, maybe, oh, damn, they trying to, you know, this is how to catch a predator. Or, uh, damn it, some, I, we just thought shit was going to hit the fan once we hit the backyard. So we sent our cousin in first. With cousin? Josh. So we sent Josh in first. Josh goes up to the door. The back door opens. And he just like pulls his pants down and like 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 almost like a cartoon. Like she just grabs him by the dick and like just pulls him in. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Wait wait a minute. Hold wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> flag on the flag. Pineapples. You telling me y'all sent Josh in the backyard. Josh goes in the backyard. First thing he decides to do when he gets to the back door is to pull his pants down. Well, she tells him to pull his pants down. She told him to pull his pants down. Yeah. From the, like, she gave a directive and you couldn't see her? Like, we could see, we couldn't, it was dark, so we couldn't technically see her. Like, it was, it, let, my nigga, like, she told him to pull his shorts down, he pulled his thing out, and then, you know, she got the, you know, sucking on the thing. You but y'all couldn't saying? see her. We couldn't see her, but we could see him. Anyway, that, he gets his turn, it's over. And so, I go next, 
<laughs> I'm noticing, you know, she's already kind of like in a nil position or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, she just starts, you know. Was she black? She was black. <laughs> yes, she was black. What, what, what would it matter? <laughs> I'm on my last bite of food, and this man. I'm, I just got my chicken sandwich. That's finish it. Finish the story, cause baby. Look, look. So. I got time for this. Yeah, ass. So anyway, she uh, she That's start true. giving me top, and then I start feeling. I'm like, why is her head so warm? Her head was warm. Yeah. Like the top of her head. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it almost felt like, you know, she was like kind of bald. Wait, no, 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 no. It gets, it's getting there. And so, <laughs> okay. But then, after it, my turn, Juju goes. And he's he saying everybody name in this video, they gonna be mad at him because I'm not editing out a name. I'm not. <laughs> they gonna be Yes. <laughs> I love you, did. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, <laughs> I told y'all I'll tell the story one. Anyway, Juju gets his head from the woman, and then he comes back. And, you know, that's when me and him start having a discussion. I was like, you know, she was really nailed down there for a long time. And then it was like, nah, nigga, I seen wheels. And I was like, wheels, nigga? Hmm. That makes a lot of sense why she was kneeled down for so long. And he was like, nigga, Whew, that I was think delicious. she ain't have no legs. <laughs> and so this is the funny thing. So then she invited one of our other persons back in. I'm not going to say that person's name. Josh. Oh, see what? I just smashed on my food. That was delicious. But come to find out. The lady that was giving us uh, oral was a handicap. What? <laughs> and she had no legs. <laughs> and she was bald. And it's so... <laughs> so she, oh my God. So she was handicapped, bald. You said she didn't have cancer? No, she didn't have cancer. What happened, what, what, what the story she had told us was she had got, I guess, uh, like uh, in a car accident or some shit like that. When did y'all still talk to her? No, hell no. No, the basis so was. So this shit, okay. She sent us a picture of a person with legs. And come to find out she ain't have no legs. So was it her in the picture? Hell no, it wasn't her. Maybe she took pictures before she lost her leg. Oh, the hell that. No, no, no. That's what you get for going on POF to look for prostitutes. And now, instead of a prostitute, you got a prosthetic. <laughs> well, okay, so this is a question, everybody. Family, I'm sure you guys will agree. This is a question we all want to know. Was the handicapped bald lady, was her head good? It was all right. I mean, this y'all. <laughs> I could imagine the drive y'all had back. I mean, Josh. Re I mean, Josh really liked it from what he told me. I mean, I mean, I, I kind of liked it. It was all right to me, but obviously, she liked the, his his dick the most because she called him back for like second round, and I was like, damn. And I was like, oh, shit. I, I I just couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to go back. It was funny. We all went straight to Walmart down the street. Went in the restroom and like sanitized the shit out of our dicks. Like, <laughs> with what? Soap and water or soap. hand sanitizer? It's hand sanitizer, soap and water. <laughs> what if that shit would have gotten a pee hole? No, oh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't for that. That thing called where they stick the tube in there and they gotta drain the pee out. No, I'm saying I don't know what they do to y'all dicks. They do because you know, too. no, no, no. Women, what they do to us is they got this thing they clamp, oh. they go in, and they go, oh. and once they get to that third click, once you hit that third click, ladies, you be like, "What y'all just do to me?" And then all of a sudden, you feel some 
swathing up in your cervix. And that stuff is uncomfortable uh -huh. because if they push too hard, you feel like you're going to fart. And then you be like, oh, Lord, I don't want to fart in my doctor. So you be holding your fart. Mm -hmm. And then when they pull it out, you be like, whew, whew. And then the first thing you want to do when you leave is go pee. Well, yeah, that's a catheter. That's what it's called. So you had a catheter put in your penis. Do they do that all the time? Only like when you're not able to pee. You ain't been able to pee before? I had a concussion. <laughs> Dude, what are you laughing at? Pe hurt pe people getting hurt before. Like, what was... <laughs> no, I was unconscious. Stupid ass. Why was you unconscious? I hit my head at work. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but the combination of the stories you're telling me right now, they're all hilarious. <laughs> but that was like this. He walked up to me and was like, sorry, son. And I had like one little teardrop coming out my eye. Make <laughs> sure, you guys, before we go, stop right now. Make sure you like this video. You got to turn that red button gray. If it's not gray, that means you're not subscribed. Period. Turn that red button gray. Like this video. Make sure you click that bell so you can get all my notifications for every new video I post. Because I promise you, my page is about to be lit. I keep telling you guys this. I don't know if you believe me, but it's about to be lit, 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 lit. Make sure you follow in all my social media. It's in the banner above and the description box below. Make sure you follow in his social media. It's going to be in the description box below. He is the immaculate one. Don't know why he called himself that, but we ain't going to discuss that. He trying to name drop, so we're just going to cut this video now. I'm about to finish my ice and imagination, and he going to finish the rest of his dry ass burger. Just got to catch up on it. All right, family, and we out.